Today I'm going to talk about how to multiply and divide simple algebraic fractions. As you can see from the questions on the board, it looks similar to the previous video I did on fractional coefficients. But there are some slight differences, so I will explain them along the way. So we'll start from 1 and we'll go to number 6 slowly. It will be a little bit more challenging, okay? So there'll be some new stuff as we go along. Okay, the first one is a pretty simple one, okay? 2 over 5 times 3x. Now, what happens here is that it looks a little bit confusing. It may look confusing to you because this is a number on its own and this is a fraction. So what 3x is, 3x is actually basically 3x over 1. So I hope you know this, like if you have 5, it is the same as 5 over 1. The denominator is 1, but we usually don't write it like this. We just leave it as 5, correct? So the reason I'm writing it over 1, so that it's easier for you to see. Now we have two fractions, right? All you have to do when it comes to multiplication is the top times the top, the bottom times the bottom. It is that simple. So do 2 times 3x, 6x, and the bottom is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So that's it. And then, of course... Um, you can just leave your answer like this because I think I've mentioned before, we do not usually like to see a mixed number with a variable here, okay? So just leave it like this, simplest form. It is really a simplest form, so that's good, okay? But remember, this rule only applies if it is multiplication or division. So if you have something that looks like this, um, Okay, you can't just apply this as straightforward, as easily, okay? Because now we have a plus, okay? So as you can see, everything here in this expression is times, okay? So there I've simplified this. Now we do the next one. Next step is just a little bit different. The fraction here is slightly different, right? So I'll just show you top times top, bottom times bottom. 4 over... 15x. Okay? Easy, right? Now we do number 3. So number 3, I'm going to introduce division. So what do you do when you see division? When you see division, there's uh, something that you must follow, okay? So first, identify this thing, okay? The term with the division sign attached to it. So I said before, the sign is always before the actual term, right? All you have to do is, first thing, Change the sign, change divide to times, basically, times, okay? After that, then you flip the fraction, okay? Follow these two steps. So, change the sign, flip the fraction, okay? See what I did there? So, it's just x times 3x, so you should know x times 3x is 3x squared over 1 which is simply 3x squared, okay? So in the final answer, don't have to write the 1 at the bottom, okay? Clear? So be careful with division. You have to flip the fraction. So what if you have a nice... Let me think of it. Okay, let's see. Let's use 5 divided by x, right? Or maybe 5 thirds. Okay. So again, you have to know that x is actually x over 1. Okay, so once you express it as a fraction, then it should be clear. Because sometimes some students see this and they're like, oh, flip fraction, but what fraction? Okay, the fraction is this one. Okay, alright. Now let's move on to the next one. So again, you have the same problem here. All you have to do is change the sign, flip the fraction. So I'll show you again one more time. Change the sign, flip the fraction. Now here, there's one trick that I do want to teach you. And that is called cancelling. What you can do to this is basically any number on top and below, if they have a common factor, you divide by that common factor. Okay, I'll show you. 2 and 6. They have a common factor of 2, correct? So I divide by 2 and I divide by 2. That's what I did. Because essentially what I'm doing is I'm doing this. Can you see 2 on top, 6 below, and then it becomes 1 on top and 3 on the bottom. It is e an equivalent fraction, right? 2 over 6 is equivalent to 1 out of 3, 1 over 3. So, this is what you can do. 
then your answer will be in the simplest form automatically without having to do any extra steps. So here you have only for one on top, one below. Okay, you cannot cancel one on top and another on top. That doesn't work. On top and bottom. Okay. It can be in the same one. So I can cancel this and this. I can cancel this and this. I can cancel this and this if I want to. Okay? But there's nothing else to cancel anymore. There's no more common factor involved. So I have my answer is x over 3. x times 1 is x. 3 times 1 is 3. Okay? Clear? So next one. So the, it gets a little bit more tricky as we go on. So again, I will illustrate what I just said here. 4 and 2, they have a common factor of 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 15 and 5, similarly, I have 3 and 1. So I divide by 5 on top and on bottom. So all I have to do is just multiply 2 times x times 3 times x. So it's... Okay, let me just write it out so that um, you times... Okay, 2x times 3x over 1 times 1. Okay. Now all you have to do is just, so this is um, I put in two brackets side by side, it means multiplication, okay? Just in case you didn't know. All you have to do is multiply the numbers first, 6x times x, x squared. Over 1, which is redundant, right? So leave it like this, that's the answer. Okay, we'll do one more question. Again, remember what I said, change the sign, flip the fraction. So here I want to show you something new. You can cancel out variables as well, okay? First, I'll do this one. Divide by 3. Okay, that's about it. I have nothing else to cancel anymore. But I have an x here and I have an x here. Okay, so what I can do is for every x on top, I can cancel an x below. Okay? Clear? So just remember this. For every x on top, I can cancel one x below. Because it's the same number, this x and this x is the same value, okay? So all you have to do is uh, 3 times 5, you should get 15. 2 times 2 is 4, and then you just simplify this fraction, okay? You get 3 and 3, the 3 quarter, okay? So that's it for today. I just wanted to show you these are the things that you could do if you see something that looks like this. Another thing that I also want to say before I go is that multiplication sometimes comes in the parentheses. So just want to remind you, I can rewrite question 1 like this. It's, this. it's exactly the same. If they choose to ask like this, it's fine. Okay, they can also give you something like this. It basically means multiplication. Okay, it means this. Alright, so that's all for today. It's a pretty short one. See you next time.